Paranoid to go on through, try and stop the shots from coming down range. We did on the off angle plan right behind the Turk and open things up. Want to have, but it does feel good as they look for some more. The boom bot right behind him. It gets shot down, but he wanted to deal with him here. And now it just seems like Exit are really starting to clean up. Only two members left here. Effie's with the spike. Tree has this site covered and he's buying time for his teammates to rotate. Yeah, and the turret ends up cleaning up Vanity. Just a tough spot to be in. A nice flash point. Effie's able to find one, but BC behind it sure. going into the next round if they're able to hang on to that one. But Spectre for just about everybody else. Penny find that kill onto Weeded. So a little bit of retaliation from round number one. Flashpoint gonna try and blind three in the flank to come on. The kills and Zelsis might try to get a little bit more, but no pure. Gonna take him out there. And so that's CJ on the breach kind of guarding this A Heaven rotation. And there he goes. Zelsis is found out. And this is looking grim now for V1. Left. This is a, a, a rough spot to be. Uh, very reminiscent of what we were seeing yesterday where the rifle round, the first one for either team, it just kind of fell by the wayside. It took a few rounds or a couple of those rifle rounds to really start to get things going and be able to get that read on your opponent. So unfortunately, version one now running out of time, running out of players as the last one can feel great, but the heal is there. The blades are still available. Flashpoint gonna go out. Kills gonna be traded back and forth on the side. Right BCJ picks up two, but Penny is still moving. Penny still has the blades and is very healthy on this jet. Vanity looking just as healthy. Doesn't necessarily have the arsenal behind him with just a ghost in hand. Mm. We'll see Pure. what kind of space Penny can create. Pura still has a showstopper as well. He's going to get pushed in. Jumps oh. it up. Takes them all down, including himself, Tanner. But that is a worth. But Xset may get some trouble. But yeah, BCJ has just been the guardian of those ropes. And drops the ultimate on the back end. They just can't catch a break. The Alt utility used here for Xset has been so huge for this squad. It's now all down to Vanity. Passage that time. You could see they were, they were worried, though. They double peaked it and they staggered it to where they would be able to trade him if he had been there. Now they're getting flushed out of position by the aftershot. Great catch by Pura again. BCJ just setting up his teammates so well. And it's... The rest of the squad right behind him. Again, Dwifo setting up on a different site. Effie is still able to find some kills, but it hasn't been really able to amount to anything. 8 HP, and he's still going to work. Vanity will finally sit him down. A very favorable fight to take for the Omen. And now a 1v2 split in the side. Make it a 1v3 completely. Oh he can be forgiven considering he just took out five players on the other side. So we'll, we'll, we'll let him take a little bit of damage yeah. there. <laughs> he got healed up actually maybe by we did. Yeah, so that, that's why I thought. Extreme off angle. Oh my goodness, the gravity well to stop him. He's got a couple of flash points to use. Three players to look to cut down inside the cloud burst. And he does just that. Vanity and player one have since linked up and pushed onto the B side. But... I mean, what does it mean? Hopefully something here in a 2v2 with the lockdown coming on through. There's looking to spray right through the wall. The showstopper going to be used. But here we go. A 1v1. Dwifo, the last one standing. Operator in hand is going to hop on over to the Phantom. Sentinel v Sentinel. He has the information as to where player one is playing. And he's got the sh this is the eco round in the last where we almost saw him pick it up. Is the off angle not going to work this time around? BCJ, BCJ tries to go through. Cyber Cage, not going to find too much there. Weeded going to be spotted out. The Blade's going to take him down, though. One for one on the site, but Exit find themselves on the back foot. No resurrection available as Weeded taken off the board. Finally, a spike will be planted in this game. Effie's going to go for the res just to secure it. Again, that arsenal's not great, Dust. Is that really the first spike plant in the game? I think so. You might be right, honestly. It has been quite dominant. We'll see if V1 can finish it off. They're certainly in prime position to do so. And now a 5 versus 2, where Pure and BCJ have yet to be able to really penetrate back into this site. They're still very much stuck up here in heaven. They're trying to sort out their angles. Pure does get One down, but he takes damage along the way. He's now mopped up. It's all on BCJ, and... That's a little bit too much to ask. Come down to timing. As now they're going to start moving down the camp out, but in the wrong place, and Twyfo will punish for that mistake. That is, yeah, and that's... A I don't say that he made a mistake. He left. did just get timing, and that's yeah. just unfortunate for him, but smart play from X at V1, though, trying to fight back. Vanity, great pick on the Twyfo, now getting that balcony control, walling off the screens, limiting the angles that X at can come back through without being detected, as a spike will go down, and they do have a shot at this. No alt in play other than the divide, but I don't know how much that's really going to help.
I mean, there it is. So we'll see what the, the Cosmic Divide does here in this round, if anything. It looks like they're looking to play up towards Heaven. They shouldn't hear him drop down because of the Divide. And you don't have to worry about yes. those Nano Swarms any longer. Takes a shot just to try and mask the dropping sound. As Aaron looking to play over towards Elbow. Now they have to push onto the site. They're running out of time, out of the dark cover. They will go a 1v1, and Vanity looks the wrong way. So much on the same page right now. Now they're playing together. And they look to grab some early aggression over towards this A site. This time, two players pushing that way, both player one and Zelsis. One for one traded, and BCJ had the ultimate available, so it's a nice one to take off the board. We did Bunny hopping his way through the Raptors. Here comes the showstopper. Vanity going to get sat down and across the map. The Sentinels went toe to He's a plenty to play these close angles as well. It just doesn't feel like anything can cut down that wall, right? There's not a singular pistol. Maybe the Sheriff if you're really going to town on it, but it takes two and even then you have to you pull your knife out there like we saw player one doing it just by so much space and time as does we did finding the first kill now a heal available Zephy trades it back but x set starting to come out on top the last two remaining here and he's gonna get cut down there at the end by bcj and the pistol's too strong i mean probably coming into that half you're thinking all right we got to start prepping for haven because it was just looking so incredibly okay. grand version one though starting to battle back against the specters pure still alive still very dangerous and very healthy the blast pack looks to push him away boombot to try and find the information as to whether or not he is in heaven still and unfortunately it is going to miss its mark and head on out to sight. Three players playing on a nice little headshot there from player one with the sheriff not enough to find the kill Enough to cut him down, just enough for the rest of this four-game losing streak. But again, all those losses were to Sentinels and Envy, two you know top three teams in the region. Again, V1, mm -hmm. not that same caliber, and they haven't faced that level of opposition on a regular basis. So that's kind of one of the storylines that was out there for me. Is yeah, V1's been on the come up, but you know this a good map for the Killjoy, right? Because who who stops that? There there is no Hunter Fury. There's nothing really. There's no. You know how hard it is to bank your paint shells off the walls there and try and get that down now. Not paint shells needed. Instead, it's just going to be the Phantom for FPs. Another Phantom starting to go to work on the B side. Vanity on 2 HP is able to find a kill before finally going down. But we did not done yet. Looking for a resurrection. Able to pick Pure back up and turn things back in their the favor. Showstopper. That was a clutch person Ooh. to select on the alt to get the Showstopper back into play in a 3 on 2 to help shut down this retake. So great decision making in a tense moment. And shots back and to stop the footsteps. The Ares only is good for one as player one. Surely they know exactly where this Cypher is at. Had to shoot down the wall. The Showstopper going to go wide. Maybe not expecting 5v5. Is close into the game. Dash onto the side. Penny for the first to fall. That's weeded. Find that kill. Aaron on 10 HP. Able to find one. Finally going to get sat down as Zelsus looks to top himself off. Just about overhealed all the way. Vanity and Zelsus now going to work against four players. Playing out towards Long in the smoke. The Gravity Well going to try and slow things down for a bit. They look to storm on through the dark cover. Zelsus has to go huge, but he LOSs the Devour only. Oh. It was pulling him in. Unfortunately, not able to get too much there. The Gravity Well, Penny able to trade two kills back. This rifle looking a whole lot different than what we've seen from version one in the past. And it kicks off. With Penny finding two quick wow. kills, make it a third here as the two remaining have since taken this site, but unfortunately they don't have the spike in hand. Epi's looking to make contact with the Phantom. We did get a fall in Dwyfo. He's going for a little around the world play here in 1v4. Yeah, kind of hoping for a miracle at this point, which is all he can really do to have a chance to roll this one back in. V1 did such a great job countering at A, which is... In this round, feeling more comfortable with that Spectre. Blade's going to be taken down immediately. Player 1, huge kill there onto Pure, and they just continue to follow up. Version 1, starting to battle back here. Hurting the economy. This is a huge round to win over XS. Absolutely. Great job by player one to kind of use the pressure they're putting on Window to find his timing to peek in from the halls, get his kill. Smoke dwindles. Vanity can strike. Now they get aggression on middle with the drone. We see those being used. We did get to be spotted out in Penny before. Gonna push through the cyber cage. Run out of time. Has the spike in hand. Needs to be wary of what's behind. The neural theft was you. Cheer up long. 
Penny not spotted out. Dwightful looks away at just the wrong time. The dash on into the side. Another kill to come through for the Jet. And Zelsus is there to back him up. The dismiss to get away. And Dwightful just outside. Garage door is going to go wide on the shot, but still gets the reset and the kill. The showstopper. Looking to find another player one. Only good for one is that Cosmic Divide comes online. And this B retake going to be a whole lot harder now. We find ourselves cut down to the last five players. Three for Xset, but Thwaipo low on HP in that drone. Well, that was kind of a wash there on the peak. Unfortunately, not finding a whole lot as the Cosmic Divide comes down, though. Things are looking a bit more doable. Full HP, no make it zero HP for Effies. And Vanity has to do it again. Needs to clutch up, needs to be that one player Calvary here. He's running out of time. The dark cover he is going to get spotted by the recon bolt. Three HP in a dream. Uh, it's everything. They're throwing everything at a position, but they find a kill while doing it. And now they're continuing their onslaught on the A side. Three quick kills, make it four. And again, Vanity finds himself all by his lonesome. Again, Xset showing you that they can be explosive when they need to be. They are very good at playing that fast-paced style. They're very good at layering their utility together, combining those agent abilities, and just laying into a site. And with no one there to contest them early to disrupt their plans, they're able to implement their full set piece efficiently. And Vanity trying to fight back, finds one, but still a tall task ahead of him. A very tall task. Three ahead. The shock darts chipping away. And they've got the information and the shots on target. Pure was low, so... Could have... Oh, and he's trying... Okay. Oh, the last <laughs> round in the chamber <laughs> through the wall. Penny, you absolute madman. Both of the Jets going to pick up a couple of kills across the map. One for one we go. But that spike plant now to come on through and the retake to be mounted by version one. Yeah, I couldn't believe he survived for that long at A-side. Penny eventually <laughs> yeah. found this man, but now we have a 4 on 4 retake ahead of us here. There is a Neural Death in play for Player 1 that could be huge. Stars being placed by Weeded as he's able to escape the long. That's going to be great pieces of utility to really stall out the spike plant and set up those long-range duels. Yeah, and that Gravity Well will pull a Diffuser off the spike, so... I mean, that's exactly what we're expecting to see. Nova Pulse for the stun. Version 1 going right to work, though. Still have a whole lot to worry about. The spike now looking to get defused. It's all up to Aaron. Unfortunately, not able to get it done. 28. Maybe you don't necessarily need it all that much. It's, I mean, it amounts to nothing. A kill still to come on through. Take some stars will still be put in play on the spike, but that's a big catch to get the waifo down that early. Now we see the neural theft come into play. Now Exit are in a lot of trouble. Yep. Heaps of information there. Gravity well. Nova Pulse to follow a bit premature on that one and that cosmic divide about to go down bcj able to find one zelsa trades it right back the dismiss and the reload is going to be to rotate a little bit quicker but still they're behind in the numbers by a substantial amount oh wow vanity gets tagged out by the owl drone tries to use a shrouded step to get away but right into the crosshair Pure Zelsis with the Empress online, able to find the heal and the dismiss to get away, but Pure continues to find some extra kills. It's up to Zelsis and Effies, lower on HP, and he said that Empress is Ooh. online, so they're looking to grab some more. Shock Dart's going to go just a bit wide and not going to deny anything too much, and this spike actually creeping up off the C site. Now they're starting to beat, beat the Stampede, oh, coming no. on through, and they just get mo It took them a couple of rounds, but... They've got that full read that they need onto this Xset roster. Zelsis continues to find kills. The dismiss as My a devourer goodness. available is going to use it. We did on the back foot now. 35 HP is able to find one kill and trade it back. But now it's all up to Weeded here on the Astra. Last round of the half and version one are trying to claim eight. Probably feeling very good about how things are going. I'm a little sad I didn't get to see the lineup there, but it doesn't matter. They're lining up. No, two for two we go. So favorable for both of these squads. I guess it does lean a bit in X set favors. Player one down to 20 HP. So I'm going to take a leg shot. There's a spike on the ground. So no tricks this time around. Zelsus and Vanity. I need to try and get something done. Vanity now needs to try and get something done as Zelsus unfortunately caught on the reload and the headshots just too strong. But he was a fixture of the NA scene in that game and did really well. As that was just some shit right back. And well, it's already starting pretty good for version one on the bonus of X Ed finding that first kill. It, it stinks that 
Delsis forced to use that dismiss to get away. Oh my goodness, Penny through the wall. This time out towards B, just finding the headshots through the wall. And that is kind of like a, here, take this. But sometimes you you find the kill. Like, if you're going to shoot at me, I'm going to shoot back at you now. Xset do need to start shooting back here. They're down to their last two, and we didn't was able to upgrade replay. the weapon. I want to slow my replay of that, because that was ridiculous. <laughs> this round's done. We just got to get the heck out of there. Yeah. Bringing over a Vandal's nice. They all had Spectres into this. Those decide to fold. Spawn looking to come on through from that B connector. And that's not the best angle to find yourself. Aaron going to go up top with the Blast Pack. Dismissed to get away. But the kill's being traded back and forth. This Glypho still alive. Still looking to go to work. There's the Operator getting the job done. And Vanity with 10 HP. Maybe Benunce to Pure as he popped the Blade Storm. But they have to go for the Diffuse here. Vanity not going to find the shots on target. So right click from Pure and... It really just took probably position that closet this whole time, and now they're going to come back and try to make it work. Actually, and there's that to the take. Oh. Yeah, trying to clear some things out. Twifo chips down, but the rest of the squad closing out the kills. It's a two for two across the map, and that spike yet to go down. Now Zels is looking to find the plant after using that Empress. Stars to follow from Weeded here on the Astra. They've got to find the retake. Zelsis chipped down low HP. One enemy remaining. Aaron oh my goodness, Effies with the collateral. A couple of huge kills. Leaves it all up to Weeded here. No stars available, no ultimate, no utility, and no HP version. One. Zelsis gets spotted out. A little bit of chip damage, but yeah, they push all the way through A Link. Open up so much space on this B site to get that spike planted. And this retake on the B site, it's something we see a lot, but it's not always the easiest. You have no. a whole lot to worry about, just like player one trying well, to creep that. on through, but Thwipo Privy, and here comes the rest of the information. Neural Theft to give it all away. Penny the next to fall. Showstopper gonna go wide, and Zelsis will trade the kill on out. Rifle versus ultimate. Rifle comes out every single time. Vanity gonna miss the op shot once more, and Thwipo had himself a round, only losing one here as X set as a punch to eight. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in version 1 for having control of the link, having the post plant, and still electing. He's been very effective with rifles. Look at the wife, though. In a really good spot. Unfortunately, player 1, you can't say the same. Caught out on the lurk. My Aaron pushing through, and those are both duelists. Oh my goodness, Dwifo not spotted just yet. Able to trade one kill, and well, he got his. That's all that really matters at that point. Able to get a chip, bit of chip damages. BCJ deploying the shock darts on the site. Looking for some more. And Penny dangerously low now in a very Ooh. bad spot playing. Maybe a bit too aggressive. I like this. That cosmic, cosmic divide. divide cuts the map in half. The paranoia gonna cut the vision. Shut the lights out. But BCJ trades <gasps> two right back. And Effie's on the flank. He's only got 10 HP. But can he find the information? Can he pick up both players here? 10 HP, picks up one. Aaron, the last one standing. Has the Hunter Shuri available as well. Recon Bolt going to be destroyed. Now just trying to buy as much time as he possibly can. Here come the Satchel Charges. 10 HP, not able to get it done. It's the classic for Aaron. And Plays out. It, the, the round leading into that eighth round win for Xset was the one that they needed. And that right there is another kill they need onto Zelsis. No less, so we get to take a look at our player versus player in that Hunter Fury. Wow. It's BCJ coming out on top. Yeah, he got such a great read early to be able to pop that Hunter Fury and guarantee a frag, essentially. As we see Penny and company still trying to lay in on A with the daggers and what they have to work with. Neural Theft comes out as well here to help things along for version one, but there's still a man down here trying to hold off this retake and still a lot of utility left on BCJ, but he's getting pushed. He's able to fall back. Oh, but he does get spotted by that recon bolt. They're not going to follow up on it. Oh, no, player one does. So player one pushing all the way through, cutting it down. And even retake here. Dwifo going to find the kill there. Penny just floating across the site. We're in a 2v1. Is FB so far off the site? It's B. Vanity, though, going to get to Gong with the ult. Make sure that B is completely under their control. They will get the spike planted. But again, can they defend the retake? Last time they struggled to do so. But Vanity holds BCJ off. Yeah, 5 HP as they're starting to cut down Xset as they push on the site. No, the kill's coming right back. We did going to be traded out. We find ourselves in a 2v2, but the Neural Theft will give up the info once more. Effie's going to get swung on Twifo. 
with a nice little 3k on the round looking for some more and player one has to go huge we're gonna find ourselves tied but instead it's a 4k for this and personal and that showstopper the only ultimate online a huge one for this squad bcj gets caught on the rotate out we did still undetected picks up one on the player one now trying to play around the site with 45 hp there's the showstopper trading the kills back and aaron continues to go to work on this version one squad mm. penny away from the squad oh. they're kind and planted in the retake positions a bit better than being corralled on the site but not something that you should be worried about if you are x set the two players standing Aren't necessarily ones that I'm expecting to do a whole lot in the close quarters. Aaron just looking to stick it. He goes halfway. The spray comes through. The jet could be sat down. Vanity's still alive with 51 HP. The spike is halfway. Can Vanity clutch things out? Yes! And the spike went down halfway very quickly there by Dwyfo. And I think it just came back to the fact that they didn't really check on Penny. And again, that was a big difference, right? They weren't just funneled to sight in mid. They had control of Window Room. That gave Penny an alternate angle to shut down the retake. Something that they were... Stars start to get dropped as well near some of the planning zones. Pure has daggers popped, ready to fight immediately. But Vanity again doing so well. Picking players off. Pure though strikes right back. One for two, favorable for version one as Effies looks to get the spike down. Close to that hunter. Sure, he doesn't have it just yet. It's all down to the light. Now going down, and it is gonna be that 5v4 retake. Set in favor by a player. Wifo. Kind of on the flank here, but taking a whole bunch of damage. They're able to pick them up, though, whether it be utility or the pistols. They cut them down a near flawless round here in this one, unless Vanity can go to work. And that's lights. The recon bolt, now the trailblazer, the spike on the ground. They're looking to just nest egg as Zelsis tries to go aggressive. A double kill with the boom bot. Cure's going to pick up another with the specters, and they're making the bonus hurt. You wouldn't even usually win those fights, so they just... Push the fight right to you. Now BC, or Effies, excuse me. Make his players are here. Tosses it into the cyber cage. Now two going to be spotted out. Zelsis to find the first. Still has the run it back available. Swings for the next off the back end of a curveball. There's the ultimate use. The neural theft instead as Aaron trades back two. So a two for two across the map. But still favorable on the rifle here for version one. As Aaron finds himself on two HP. And unfortunately, that Sky taken off the board, so no regrowth. Yeah, that's a great job by Zelsis, though, kind of countering that aggression through short A, getting a couple of kills and keeping themselves on, you know, equal footing. Aaron very low on HP, however, that's going to make things a little bit even easier on version 1 to try to hold off this retake. Aaron's so vulnerable, and Penny still has control of Hookah. This retake's being funneled one direction. Effie's, although inside... Of that elbow position could look to play for the ultimate Aaron gonna be taken down a pretty simple kill to come on through now Thwipo needs to try and w find a way to get something done one kill away from the lockdown but not finding the shots on target it was the seekers and the trailblazer used here in this round two of them gonna be cut down before they can find their mark and that spike still trying to come on the side but there's player one he was on the lurk now making it hurt but two quick kills coming right back a 2v3, and the spike yet to be planted. Version 1 cut down to their last. It's Penny. He's got the showstopper. He's trying to... Oh, Ooh. pure. What a play. Over towards A. The last time we saw that play happening, it was a teleport, a run through showers, and player 1 has made it all the way towards that defender side of spawn. This time around, they're looking to just take the hit right to be a couple of kills back and forth. Again, the B site not free. All three members stacked up yep. towards the back halls. Version 1 looking to push on, and they should be able to get the spike Ooh, down. Penny had a little bit of a gap there over the top of the smoke. I thought he was maybe to make something happen, but it's BCJ instead of lining them up with the Phantom from back. Exactly. Yep. And, and that's generous. And C's get degrees. Now, speaking of Sova's, it's not BCJ. It's FB's to find a kill with the ultimate. Penny can hop on the board as well. Pure. Force to use a showstopper. But picking up the kills in response. They continue to go to work back and forth on this A site. We find ourselves once more in a 2v2 situation and nothing has been free in this game. We've yet to see some flawlesses coming on through. They're always able to find these situations where just about everybody dies and we're in another one. Again, we talk about how these two teams are both very aggressive, so you kind of expect some sparks to fly and some of these early to mid round confrontations as we see the two ones who continue to play out here u-haul still not being recaptured by exit just yet still a very tough retake ahead of them here
Oh, a timing caught though by Thwai Fall onto Effie. So that could change everything. It's up to Celsius now. Yeah. And the clock is ticking though. Somebody's got to get over towards that A short area. Won't have gravity well here, but they do have the crossfire. Oh. The hat comes off, but caught with his hands off his weapons. It is a 2v2 though on this A site once more. And we're down to an Ooh, even pure. battle as Pure finds a nice little 3k low HP. Has to take his lead back towards the shower. I think a little bit there in some of those fights, but two on two nonetheless is where we're dealt. BCJ gets caught by Penny right in the dome. Now all on Thwaifo, another port. And that second player could have gone really anywhere. There it is, Penny matching Pure's 3k. Corner and try to see if they can't make some progress. Else is cutting off this new haul angle. However, Ooh. it is traded. And the rifle goes to X set side. BCJ had to pull out the classic, but it's working out. X set are making some progress. Two on two now. Seekers out. Yep, and there's the Seekers, the Showstopper right behind it. The ultimate you talked about gonna go good for a kill. 11 HP unweeded. The regrowth will not work on the sky all by their lonesome. Just looking to stick it. Penny with the swing to close it out. Seven to... And it, it sniffs out the lurk. Player one picks up one. The recon bolt didn't. Lean it on an eight to four. Zelsus looks to play inside the hot hands. Paint shell is going to go through. There's both curveballs to blaze wall to try and slow things down. And hey, you don't have to take the fights here. You just got to buy the time. The spike is ticking down. There goes the boom bot. PCJ going to peek, but Penny trades it right back. Penny able to get another one. And here we go. A 1v1, but it's 10 HP on the raise. Paint shell is going to go just a bit Ooh. wide. And Aaron finds the spray down through. Th Bag there doesn't get all that much. Outside of the information that the Omen will be playing on this side and quite possibly Paranoia Penny hops up but gets taken down. What a shot by Thwaifo there to open things up. And guess what? Here come the guiding lights. It gets a whole lot worse from here for version one. I mean, Exit with this comp are built for speed for these set pieces on these sites. They have so much to throw down the hold off the choke points to get intel to flash people into place. Onto the site, so should be able to back the squad up quite a bit. It's looking like a full hit this way. Spectre in hand, Vanity gonna be the first to fall, but rifles for the rest of the squad could turn things around. Recon bolts traded once more. Zephy's not able to find too much off the back end of that one. It's Penny to fall. Thwaifo now getting that spike down, and it's all starting to fall apart here. Zelsus with the run it back. It's absolutely nothing. Sent right back from whence he came in in a 2v4. Player one and Zelsus need to start to go huge. Thwaifo to fall. Curveball goes on through. Looking like a peek from Weeded. He's able to find that kill as they push onto the side. It's a Spectre in hand, and unfortunately, the rifle wow. comes crumbling. It's going to make it harder to find yourself playing for the overtime on Spectres, although that's a pretty great start. We'd have taken off the board. That's yeah. the heels. That's the Seekers now gone and a player ahead for version one. Yeah, that was a great little pinch through Portal and Hookah to try to, you know, put some pressure out there. They know that times are desperate as far as what they have to work with. So they have to kind of force a play and they actually make it work. Zelsus is maintaining charge control as well with the rifle. Gets the spike down. This is great from version one. They are cleaning wow. house right now. Nothing going the way of X. Set up flawless round for version one in style as they're just going to be looking to full send it up short A. Oh, oh, player one shoots him down through the smoke. There's the ultimate off the table. The showstopper gets stopped itself. Vanity put in a bad spot. The lockdown going to look to push everybody away. And unfortunately, no Hunter Sherry to stop that one. So the A site should be taken. Not for free from either team, though. One for one we go. Vanity chipped away down to 25 health. And now the retake to ensue. BCJ on the lower end of things has a shock dart to work with and we did still having some of that utility yep. could prove to be a pain looks like the trailblazer queued up Aaron maybe looking to play off the back end of this cosmic divide two points away as is the hunter's fury vanity being tricky he ends up making a step after the shrouded Spectre going to take him down on lower HP. Thwaifo finds another to trade it out. It's down to the last two here. Make it the last one. Penny has to go huge. And Stopper had little impact, but the, the big old Thwaifo all just did everything, didn't it? Right? There was yeah. no way to shut down, as you said. There was no Hunter's Fury to, to blow it away. So they were able to get control of a site, push everyone off site, and that gives them better chances to set up. We'll buy for version one, but they're already down a player in FBs who was close to that Hunter's Fury. Boombot can get quite a bit of damage onto Celsius. They close it out with the rifle, but Penny able to trade back two, and that's the best way 
to keep fighting. Now a oh. showstopper online, but only 19 HP and Thwaifo trying to do something crazy outside the shop. Classic job. A great shout, though, from the drone. But Penny, you said to his advantage to swing out and blindside them. But BCJ now has player one pinned into the pocket. He gets that kill. Now he has a 1v1. Low HP, sure, but a Hunter's Fury to put out. Planted. And the, the thing is, Vanity has an element of surprise. On top of it all, and he's just buying so much time for the Shroud and Step. He pushes him down, and Vanity gets it done. They hang on for a moment longer. Oh, it's not enough time. No, not enough time. Wow, oh. I was trying to hear for it, and that's 